Hello everyone, Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Let's take a look uh, to begin with this morning at the indexes location of the site, which is just this tab right up here next to Market Trends. <clears throat> One of the things I want you to notice this morning is just the uh, on on these, really on the the Dow jo Dow Jones Industrials and the S and P 100, the the buy sell ratio is kind of off the charts right now we've got pretty you know a lot of stocks really heavily moved over into that uptrend that's a positive sign we're seeing that momentum continue to shift to that bullish direction which is um, which is what we want to see if we are expecting and wanting the market to go higher let's jump in we're still back at bullish in a bear market let's see what our rank is we're at negative 203 I think that was 217 or 211 yesterday so remember that that's a really slow moving indicator so it can uh, it's it's definitely gonna have lag to it so it's gonna be able to price in what's happening over the last 180 days and it's represented by this line right here so you can see that negative two number when we get back up above when we get back above positive then that's gonna that's gonna turn us back into that bull market and we've just gradually really since the beginning of the year even into fall of last year working been working our way this uh, direction it's been sloppy it's been messy it's been volatile it's been a lot of indecision as far as the market direction is going but uh, that may be starting to stabilize a little bit here we've got momentum strongly up to the upside not a big day yesterday other than it gapped lower and then it rallied back up during the day and closed higher we're back off of these upper ranges in sentiment enough that we could uh, see a bounce right here that being said, we are still a little bit uh, extended to that upper range. You know, you get a pull back down to this halfway point uh, for a, a possible rebound type bounce would also be a nice location for a bounce um, at these levels. Our buy sell ratio has turned back positive just slightly. A little tug of war going on right here. And we'll see which uh, which direction wins. We're back up above one right here, 1.23. Um, some uh, muscle stocks to look at today some of the new buy lists ARDX and again another medical drug stock nice smooth trend one of the things also in the in the, the system to look for is when you see a chart and it's just got a nice real smooth trend like that had a couple of little pullbacks and then rallies but that's gonna happen in in bear markets we will typically not focus on um, uh, on on selling or excuse me on bull markets a lot of times we'll just continue to hold on through some of these buying into those pullbacks but in bear markets you've got to honor uh, the downtrend so in this case this but this nice smooth trend it's reacting around support resistance good solid buy point here ARDX the number one stock in the new buy list today let's have a look to see what we've got on the rest of these I actually noticed um, you notice this stock here MHO which is a construction stock I was noticing here over on the muscle ETFs this morning the new buys there's a couple of home uh, home building home construction stocks ETFs I should say that are listed here if you prefer a little bit more diversification instead of owning one stock or trading one stock then ETFs are a good way to be able to do that you're trading uh, a basket of stocks so in this case US home construction iShares ETF you're gonna own the entire basket of stocks inside of that construction zone so it's a way it's a nice way to be able to diversify risk away from stock specific risk and just focusing on the ETF let's see where do I need to go back to here we were looking at new buys and it was okay so yeah uh, MHO right here new buys so the next couple in the list here we've got again another construction building stock that's an interesting it's interesting that we're seeing construction and building it's already been doing pretty well but now you're starting to see another potential breakout on that consumer staples COTY moving back from buy to hold DHI again and DR Horton a construction another builder so you're seeing a lot of building stocks uh, with good confirmation moves higher uh, we'll see what happens this week I think we've got some consumer numbers coming out we definitely are gonna start to see some some earnings up this week as well if you don't have full access to the software you can sign up with the link below and we look forward to having you have a great day today